Hello, class. Hi, Miss. How are you? Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you see me? Can you hear me yes. well? Yes. Yes. Everything okay, teacher. All right. Good. Hello, guys. Welcome. How are you? I driving. I driving this right now, but I going to the house. You're driving in this moment. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, just I, I, I connected in the Bluetooth in the car. Okay. So okay. I just be careful. We don't I, want to have you. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Hey, you look so pretty tonight. Where do you come from, or where are you going after classes? <laughs> no. No, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. It's raining. <laughs> I, can't, I can't go anywhere. No, no. I well, actually, I did have a meeting today. Okay. Uh, today, so yeah, <laughs> that's why. But I'm not going anywhere after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Welcome. Um. So, let me see. We have Andres. Are you there? I can see Andres, but okay, there he is. Yes, teacher. Good. Okay, welcome. Okay, Wendy, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wendy. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Juan Francisco, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. And you? Good, I'm good. Um, so your internet is better now? Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, great. Um, is your camera working okay? Yes, teacher. It's yeah. okay. Okay, okay, good. All right. Um, excellent. Uh, Irvin, is your camera working okay? Okay, there he is. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, welcome to today's class. Good to see everybody. I'm glad everybody's here. Um, so we are going to start our class as always with our, um, our attendance, okay? So, um, okay, so here we go. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, good. Javi? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Is Javi here? No? Okay. Andres? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Um, I guess um, Dennis, no, right? Is Dennis here? I guess not, right? Okay. Edgar Menjivar? Edgar Menjivar? No? Okay, um, all right. What about uh, Edith, Edith Jorleni? No, right? Um, Irvin? Irvin? Okay, welcome, Irvin. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, Fabiola, I guess not. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Welcome. Oh, you have company, Haiti. <laughs> that's that's good. Um, Fernandito. Oh, He's always around. Oh, so cute. How old is Fernandito? He's eight years old. 
Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Is is he your youngest? He looks like me, right? Right? Ah, oh, yes. Hello, Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, and Ivan also has his his guest too. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. This is like a show and tell. Do you do you know? Have you ever heard of show and tell? No. No. You've never heard of that show and tell? It's it's well in um in North American countries, um, the United States and Canada, it's very common uh to have show and tell. Show and tell is like um it's a an activity let's say that children do um at school and what they do is um they bring some like some favorite like maybe a toy a favorite toy or something um that they want to share with their classmates and they say look this is my you know well my cell phone or <laughs> you know something like that right okay but obviously a kid would not say that right um but like this is my favorite toy or you know um uh, this is, um, you know, this, uh, I don't know. Well, I guess nowadays it would be like something like uh, this tab, my, my mom gave me this tablet, <laughs> something like that, right? That would be something nowadays, right? Um, so, or whatever they want to talk about. So that's what we call show and tell. That's an activity that's very common in the, in the United States and Canada for younger children, usually like, like uh, five, six years old four, five, six year olds, year olds, they, they have show and tell. So like I said, this is like show and tell, right? Like, let's show our, our, our children. <laughs> so that's very cute. I like that. That's nice. Yeah. Thanks, I learned something new. Yeah, right? Yeah, the, it's actually, it's actually a very, it's, it's a very nice activity and very nice game that children like because they are able to share a little bit of themselves with others. And um, it's a great way to, to get the children getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. It's a good icebreaker too. You guys know that, that, that word, right? Icebreaker? Icebreaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Yes. It's a good icebreaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, going back to the tenants, um, uh, Irene, is Irene here? Irene? No, can't see Irene. Okay, all right. What about um, Ivan? Present teacher. Yes, Ivan's here. Okay, welcome, Ivan. Thanks. Is Josue here? Yeah, present teacher. All right, welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco, is Juan Francisco here? Yes, teacher, I am here, present. Excellent, welcome Juan Francisco. Is Jury here? Present teacher. All right, welcome Jury. Thank you. Luis, is Luis here? Present teacher. All right, welcome Luis. Um, Alejandro, I guess not, right? And Natalia? I think I saw Natalia. No, I didn't see Natalia. No, I she's driving now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I, I remember seeing her. Okay. So, Natalia, are you able to, to open up your microphone? Or no? Too dangerous. It's too dangerous. We don't want you to have an accident, so don't worry. It's okay. Um, all right. Wendy? Present. All right. Welcome, Wendy. Werner. Present teacher. All right. Another one that's driving. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about Yvonne? Is Yvonne here? Hmm. That's weird. She usually is here. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, so Yvonne's not here. Uh, what about Edgar Enriquez? Is Edgar Enriquez here? 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edgar. Okay. Oh, but but that's the other Edgar. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So Edgar and because no, right? Okay, all right. In that case, uh, Ellie, is Ellie here? No, Ellie's not here. Okay. And Jose Montes? Jose Montes? No, okay. Uh, Jose Ayala? Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. All right. Welcome. Okay. So I'm going to mention again the names I didn't hear just to make sure that I got everybody correct. Uh, do I have Javit? Yes, and teacher. Uh, oh, okay. Wonderful. So she did connect. Good. Welcome. Dennis Orlando. Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. Present. Right. Welcome, Edgar. Uh, Edith Jorleni. No, right? Um, Irene. Manuel Alejandro. Eh, Yvonne. Edgar Enriquez. Eh, Eli. And Jose Montes. Okay. All right. So I didn't, I didn't miss anybody else. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. In that case, uh, we're going to start our class. Um, thank you guys for connecting on time. And I really appreciate it that even, even the people that um, are not at home, but you know, they're connecting from their cars and thank you very much. Um, that's, that's what I mean by by showing the commitment, right? Because you know I know that it's difficult, but you know since you already made the commitment, it's important that you guys do show that you really are interested in in this um, in the scholarship, right? And so that you um, you know show that that you are that you value what the what um, Insafort does for you. So thank you for uh, for doing all that you guys can to connect on time. All right, so anyway, we're going to start our class. Um, please let me know when you can see my PowerPoint. I can see it. Yes, we see. Yes, teacher. Perfect, okay, all right, so. This is the intermediate module one. We Today is our last day of the unit two procedures. And today is Tuesday, uh, July 27th, 2021. And it's day 15. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so we're gonna start yesterday. Uh, we did this activity. Join your assigned breakout room, work in pairs, discuss the following questions with your classmates, report your ideas to the class. Do you guys remember that we did this as uh, in pairs? Our satisfaction survey is a good way to make um, sure procedures are followed in the restaurant. Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic, in strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? Do you remember this, these questions that you discussed with your classmate? Do you guys remember this? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Because that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, we're going to be sharing this. We have we did all of this. We did one, two, and three, but we didn't do this last activity, which is report your ideas to the class. So that's what we're gonna be doing today to review a little bit of what we saw last class. I want you guys to report this a little bit to to uh, to me. Okay, so let's I'm gonna stop sharing right now. And I didn't take a, a, I didn't take the notes of um, who, who are the groups, but I'm just going to randomly choose 
uh, different people and you guys can um, share with the class what you talked about with your classmate. So we'll start with, um, let me see, Ivan. Ivan, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you discussed with your partner? Oh, yes. Uh, last night we were talking about the, the effect of the survey in the, the place. And, and my, in my opinion, the surveys are effective. Uh, always that the manager or the, or the who is, is in charge of the restaurant uh, do something about the suggest of the customer, but if they don't do anything about the the service is not effective because the customer uh, don't see the change in the uh, in the restaurant and about the, the put uh, posters in some places. Um, we was agree about that not very effective because many people passing by poster and, and don't put, don't pay attention to uh, the poster safe. And it, it, will, it would be better that the the manager has a, have a, a meeting a, once a month or weekly to discuss the the change that they that he in, can improve in the restaurant uh, that's all that we talking about uh, last night very good excellent um so ivan i have a question for you uh, you said that you, uh, as, like you said, it's, it's no estamos de acuerdo, right? Is that correct what you said? Yes. Oh, okay. How would you, how do you say that in English? Uh, we don't agree about the service. Okay. We disagree? Oh, yeah. Thanks, okay. Jose. Well, actually, disagree. right. The two forms are actually correct. Yes. Thank you. you we what is the more the common to use? Um, no, it's, there's no really com more one that is more common the, than the other. Um, it's it's more of a, a question of choice. Where you okay. you know you decide what you are what your options are. You decide what you want. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So you can decide. You can either okay. You can either use. Uh, I we don't agree, okay, or we can say disagree. I'm gonna write in the chat. Okay, so we we can use either we don't agree or we disagree. But what we definitely can't use is we, uh, we are not agree, okay? So never use um, the verb to be when we're talking about agreeing with something or not, because the verb is never to be agree, okay? So we don't say I, I, I to be agree, no, we don't say that. We say I agree or I disagree or I don't agree, okay? Um, but we never say um, I am agree or I, I am not agree. And it's because, like I said, the verb is to agree or to disagree. But it's not to be agree. It's different from like in Spanish, right? In Spanish, you say um, estar de acuerdo, estar. We use the verb estar. But in English, no, we don't use the verb to be, okay? Okay, thanks um, for the feedback. You're welcome. Uh, does, is that clear for everybody? Yes? Okay, I hope so. All right, good, excellent. Yeah? I have one question. 
We can use we do agree. We do agree, no, right? Okay. Um, okay, you got it. the answer for that, like generally speaking, is a yes. But mm -hmm. you gotta be very careful with that because the word the the word the auxiliary do can be used in affirmative but it's only used for emphasis yeah. okay so it's, okay. it is possible to use the word the auxiliary do when we're talking mm -hmm. about a, a affirmative but it, it's just it's just there to make you to make um an emphasis it's similar to when you say for example in spanish for example uh yo si estoy de acuerdo Yo mm -hmm. sí estoy de acuerdo. And so the I do same, agree. Uh -huh, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. and so you're you're emphasizing that yes, you are uh, you are uh, in agreement with that, but um, it's not normally used. So just be careful with that. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions that you guys have? No, no other questions? No teacher, thanks. Okay. All right. In that case, we're going to continue um, and we're going to be listening to uh, Luis. Luis, do you want to share with us what we you talked about in your, your group um, yesterday? I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't have the class yesterday. And I am looking what page is the question. Yeah, okay, it's okay. No worries, I forgot about that. Hey, can you tell me what page did you- Sure, uh, just give me a second, I'll, I'll look for it. It's page 23. Okay, teacher, thank you. That's the one we did yesterday. Okay, um, how about if Wendy? Wendy, you wanna share? Wendy? Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with my, my, my child. Okay, okay, no worries, it's okay. Uh, ¿Qué te pasó? All right. Okay, uh, let's uh, hear uh, Urban. Hi, teacher. Hello, Hello. Urban. Hello. Your, your connection is better than right now. Uh, I restart the computer because when I have a two computers with internet, I am so it's lovely. I have to turn off one computer. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's okay. No problem. Okay. All right. So you want to share a little bit what we what you talked about with your classmate yesterday? Yes, I mean, more or less. I remember more or less, more or less. But uh, I remember that two person in the in the group. One person in the group worked at the bank. I more or less, I don't remember, more or less. And they have a many uh, software for to now to be uh, the customer about the satisfaction, satisfaction of the customer in the bank. That satisfaction. Satisfaction of the bank. Mm -hmm. This I only that I remember about the conversation the last the last night. Only that. Um, for me, no problem because I can control my my stuff directly. And the customer is, is so so easy because my personal only advantage and sell the technicals to sell at the product. Only that. And I remember, remember it, remember it, that one had worked with chicken. Ivan worked with chicken. 
and could throw. And before they could throw, uh, electrical, they receive an electrical uh, charger, the chicken, for to could throw after they, before they kill. Yeah? Sorry, I did, I, I'm lost with the electrical charger of the chicken. Yes, for to kill the chicken. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Ah, Edgar, yeah. come here, okay. Yeah. You can tell about this, okay? In my company, in, okay. in my company, the, the, the start the production and uh, electric, electric yeah. charger and- Chicken, you have chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah chicken. chicken. You have chicken. Yeah. And for to kill the chicken, yeah. receive the electrical charger, yeah? yeah. Yeah. And after that, throw the yeah. 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 I remember more or less. More yeah. Or less. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> it's true. It's true that I say. It's true. Yes. Yes, Erby. It's true. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that very disturbing fact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Once I was working with Edgar and I don't uh, forget that he mentioned that every day they, they uh, treat 160,000, right? Yeah, yeah. He told me that. Every day I think in those 160,000 chickens. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Did you mind? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, wow. That that's yeah. That's disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. So moving on. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for that for that information. Thank you. Okay. Um, well. Anyway. So guys, what do you guys think about um, having this print like um uh what's it called what's the question hold on just give me a second i'm gonna find the question again um so do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow these procedures uh so i heard about a little bit about the procedures but but do you guys um think that that using posters in strategic places will help what do you guys think about that Well, teacher, in my opinion, I guess that maybe it don't look good if you see a poster uh, on the wall, like if you are the customer. So I guess that maybe can be paste on the kitchen or even in the restroom for the employees. But if you have a restaurant, I guess that it's not gonna look very, not gonna look good. Do you think people will read them, read it in a kitchen or or a bathroom? Not, not in the bathroom. It's in the rest room. From then, when they maybe rest for a little time, or where they eat something. Okay, so so I you, think you think that that would work. Yeah, I guess. Okay, sounds good. All right. What about you, Javid? What do you think about that? Uh, for me, I think it's it maybe a uh, 50 50 because for uh, some people, um, can can be useful, um, have a, a orientation for the steps or the procedure, <laughs> process. Procedure. And for procedure. procedure and and for the other people, I uh, they don't use the the information about the the poster. Okay, all right, sounds good. Uh, what is your thought about this, uh, Josue?
I think uh, that could be um, a strategy because in our company we have a poster. Uh, is uh, is not a big poster, but sometimes remind a uh, procedure uh, in uh, that we need to do in in an emergency because we work with in an emergency yeah yeah for an emergency in mm -hmm. in that for the reason i think it's important to use a poster like that like this okay so for for people to know what to do in an emergency yeah right yeah for do the correct uh, procedure mm -hmm. right okay good excellent um I, I, I agree with with what you guys um, mentioned that uh, some people, I don't remember who said it, but sometimes you may like not really be reading posters. Uh, maybe, you know, there's a poster on the wall and you really don't pay attention to, it, attention to it. But what if you put it in a place where um, people have to read it? What do I mean by have to read it? For example, there's certain places in the workplace where people have to stop and wait. And since they're waiting, they kind of start uh, reading things because, you know, they have nothing else to do. You know, places, for example, I don't know, I'm thinking like, like, uh, like the bathroom, uh, especially maybe not, not so much the boys bathrooms, but the girls bathroom uh, are always full. <laughs> so while you are waiting for one of the, the bathroom stalls to open up, you can be reading the poster example right or for example the cafeteria is sometimes you have to make a lineup in the cafeteria right and while you're waiting in the line doing nothing you are you have this poster there that you know oh subconsciously you start reading it and then you know what it's about and just like Josue mentioned let then you know what to do in a case of an emergency so yeah i think it would work depend i think it depends on uh, yeah, where you're gonna you're going to put it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, excellent, guys. What we're gonna do right now is uh, we're going to move on to the next activity. Just give me a second. Um, uh, Natalia, can can you hear us? Natal Natalia, can you hear us? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm in the home right now because I have some problems with my net. Maybe it's the rain. Mommy. Yeah, that's why I'm I, I'm asking you. Like, um, are you you're having problems with the internet? But can you hear us? Yes. Right then. Oh, all right, perfect. Okay. If there's any problem, just any other problems, just let us know, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. So um just give me a second. One, one. Oh, guys, by the way, um all right, actually, right now what we're gonna do is um we're going to um talk a little bit about the midterm because you guys already know that today is the last day for the midterm. And I wanna make sure that everybody has um, completed the midterm by um, tonight because uh, I have to put in the grades like first thing tomorrow morning, like, um, you know, Insofar opens at eight and the grades have to be already given in by that time okay so it's going to be so it's not like i i can give you very much time um after midnight right okay so uh first of all so let's talk a little bit about the midterm any problems no not the dream are you sure yes Yes. I, yeah. I need I to finish. Yes, I, I finished. I have problem with a uh, task 2.11. Wait, 
with a, a number three. Uh, uh, what about task 2.11? What was the problem with task 2.11? Uh, well, I was writing the, the sentence, but I, I received a message that is incorrect. For example, is, sure. is let me see. Remember we would, that we, can, we need to have copy, to copy. The, uh, I the did it. or the yeah. wouldn't. I did it. That was the unit, the sentence that I, uh -huh. but I. At the same time, as that is a question, there are there is one of those that you need to after the word leave a space and then make the question mark, the closing yeah. question mark. But in this case, is I, there isn't a question mark? Is a. Uh, wow. It is, I guess that I've, at the first moment, I thought there was a space that is between code and don't, but I, it, it didn't. Um, that's why do remember, I don't- Do you remember yeah. what number it is so we can look for it? The, num the number three, uh, the sentence is, I guess the sentence is, is, it would be good if we, if we change, change the dress, the code. dress, the, the dress code. Okay, I'm going to share my my my. That is the correct. That I got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen, and you're gonna you're gonna tell me if there's any problem. Like oh, you guys, you can share with me. Okay, you guys can see it. Yes, true. Yes. Okay, so the one you're mentioning is this one, right? Mm hmm Okay, so what are you putting? What 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 answer are you putting? Uh, let me see. Teacher, I, teacher, teacher, excuse me, teacher, excuse me. But yeah, in the in the sentences, wouldn't is no remember minuscula. Uppercase. It's minuscula. Lowercase. Lowercase, yes, lowercase. But in English, I remember that no lowercase. But you need to write them in lowercase in order to get them. Right. I try all, all in the moment. I try to do it, but I can do it because I, yeah. And you mm -hmm. guys can see where your your error lies. Okay. Yeah. So number three, uh, what were you putting? It would be good if we if we change the dress code space and dot. That one I don't remember. Like that? The that space. Don't put the the the, the dot. Yeah, I, I, I think really? that's no. I, think I that's didn't put the problem. Dot. Okay, so I'm gonna try it just like you. But did. I I grabbed the, the dot. Yeah, and he gave me that correct. Okay, hold on. So like this. Look look at the answer. It would be good if we changed the dress code space period like that is that how you're writing mm -hmm. it yes okay so let me check okay so it gives us the answer it's incorrect okay i so let the dot at the end that is uh, next to the Word code. Yeah, so I'm going to take away the space and we'll see how that works. It works. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. So the, that answer will work. Uh, you just have to eliminate the space. All right. Maybe um, just you need to take a look if maybe there is no missing a letter or something like that. Yeah, definitely spelling is important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so any any other questions that you guys have about this in particular, this, this exercise in particular, 2.11? Okay, so I'm guessing that 2.11, 2. Point, well, 2.14 actually, uh, if you did it, great. But um, we're gonna be, the information you're gonna see in class today is gonna help you to be able to figure that one out, okay? So if you haven't figured that one out, it's okay. It's because we haven't 
seeing today's class. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Anything else? Let me see. Let me see the second, please. The second. <clears throat> or do you guys have any questions about the midterm? Specifically the midterm? The second sentences. Let me see, please. Sorry? Let me see the answer of the second sentences. E equal you want me to share the... Uh, Thank you, teacher. It's worked. Good. Excellent. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Uh, Erin, you want me to share my screen again? Is that what you're asking for? Yes. yes. Okay. Sure. I can share that. Just give me a moment. Okay. So what do you want to see? Second. This one? Yes. Okay. What about it? I don't know what, but I, I got a similar. Okay, well, this was something that we tried last class together. And what yeah, we I noticed, what we noticed was that the wouldn't was giving us problems. Um, so what we decided to do, Irvin, is we just copied. Yes, I, I, I copy, to copy. Okay. copy, and then we pasted here. Okay, okay. I will, I will, I will we pasted it here and then it, it worked. Because if I just do it like this, if I do it like this, it's probably going to give it to me incorrect. Let's see. See, it happens. See, so look, the same word, but it gives it to me incorrectly because. Um, it has to be, I guess, with the type of apostrophe that it has been programmed. Okay, so all you got to do there is copy and paste. That wouldn't copy and paste. Okay, any other questions about this activity? About this, this homework? Yeah, you're welcome. So any other questions about this activity? No? Okay. All right, in that case, uh, let's talk about the midterm. Okay, so we, we, did, we talked about the, the, the homework, but we haven't talked about the midterm. So any problems in the midterm? No teacher, for me, no. No teacher. Okay, so I'm taking it that tonight, everybody's gonna have the midterm finished, right? Right? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right, good. So everybody should have everything finished. So unit one, unit two, and midterm. I, I've seen that some people uh, have already even started with the final, which is great. And some people have started with unit three, which is great as well. Okay, in that case, wonderful. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, um, where somebody asked, or better said, not asked, but somebody suggested yesterday uh, that we play a game. Do you guys want to play a game? Yes. The, yes. I remember the Hank Man. You say that? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, the Hangman. Okay, and exactly that's actually what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be playing Hangman. Okay. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Oh, I set it up. Okay, can everybody see my white screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. 
Good, okay. So yes, we're gonna be playing hangman. Okay, so we don't want but we don't want to hang the guy, okay? So try your best to to keep him alive. What's happening with you, teacher? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm trying to make oh it as easy as possible. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm glad it looks realistic. <laughs> okay. All right. So just give me a second here while I get to my information get going. Um, okay, all right, so after the after the man get, uh, died hanging, then gonna be red there warning. So it's gonna be what? After the man died hanging. Yeah. The, the man gonna be red eye burning. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna have a red eye, did you say? Red eye. Oh, he's gonna already a remorir. Oh, oh I gotta re-die. Okay, all right. Yeah, exactly. Well. You know, in the time that they used to do this, that actually did happen, unfortunately. Horrible, <laughs> horrible times. Okay, um, all right. Just give me a second. I'm trying to count if I got all of them correct. And I think I'm missing one. Let's see, two, 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 two. yeah, okay. All right, got it. Okay, I'm ready. The letter A, never fall. Sorry, did you said letter what? Never oh, fail. Letter A. A. Ah, letter A, yeah. Because it never fails, you said. Yes. Letter, letter A, because it never fails. Never A. fails. Okay, <laughs> unfortunately it did fall today. I'm sorry. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, it failed. Letter e. Hold on, hold there, on. Wait, wait, wait. There 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 e. Letter E. Letter E. Hold on, just give me a second. Okay, all right. What's the next what's the next letter? Letter E. Letter E, did you say? E as an elephant. E as an elephant. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yes, there is a letter E. Let's see. There is a letter E over here. Right there. Oops. Okay. Okay. Mm 
letter D. Letter I. D. Letter I. La pulsera, la pulsera. A, a letter before. What was it before? Letter D. Letter D. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, there is no letter D. Okay, so I'm going to have to add one of these. Okay, next. There I, as an in Indian. Letter I as an in Indian, okay. Um, fortunately, I'm also gonna have to add another I over here. So That's the plus to the five. I know. Yes, the la patita purinte. Letter O. Letter O. Yes. Good. You're saving him because yes, there is a letter O. Um, it's right here. Okay. There are S. Yes, very good. There are actually there are three letter S's. One's over here and the other one is over here. Hostess? Remember, we got to spell it out. No, okay. no, no H as in hotel? H as in hotel, yes. Mm. And T as in Thomas. And what? T as in Thomas. T as in Thomas. Yay! All right. The poor guy got saved. Okay, good. Okay. So, what is a hostess? I remember when I was working on uh, a few, a long time ago in Wendy's, we had this uh, host and they were uh, greeting the customers and completing the service and providing information to the customers. Uh, they didn't serve the food, but they were there to assist, to help the customers coming in. Or they were assisting the uh, kids' uh, parties. The, the what? The kids party, piñatas, no sé cómo decir. <laughs> Las piñatas. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I got it, yeah. Um, exactly, okay, so yeah, very good. That's, that's actually all you said is very true. A host or a hostess, which is a host is for a man, hostess is for a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we can apply it in different sense, okay? Uh, for example, the if, a, in a, if you are organizing a party, you are the host or the hostess, okay? So let's imagine I'm gonna, I'm going to have a party in my house. And I said, okay, everybody, you're all invited to my party. Okay, I am the hostess, okay? So that's mm -hmm. one way. Sure. Yeah. And the hostess is the, is the name, is the, profes the profession. Or uh, for example, uh, in my house, have a party and I am hosted, but is professional or on, um, I don't know what to say, uh, is professional hosted the, the, the world or is on the name? 
Um, okay, l l that's what I'm trying to explain. It depends on uh, what we're talking about, okay? So, um, like I said, if, if it's a context of a party and I'm organizing a party and I'm the one that is organizing the party and I invite people, they, I am the hostess, okay? That is not a profession. That's just something that I do for fun, okay? Uh, for example, a host on an internet is common to use for if you allocate a website in a specific place and they receive many application and they host all those websites. Exactly. Maybe that's, that is the context. Yes. Uh, so when you receive an invitation or, yes. or guest. Yeah. Or guest. Exactly. A similar, a similar your that? role in this meeting. You are the hostess. That's exactly what I was going to say. You read my mind. Exactly. With you like the amphitryon in Spanish? If you see in the participation list, okay, if you open up where it says participants, you will see next to my name, or better so not my name because it doesn't appear my name, it just appears Inglés Corporativo. But next to Inglés Corporativo, it says host, okay? And that is the person that invites other people to a party, to a meeting, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Uh, a game, that's a host, okay? Yeah? or hostess in the case of a woman. That is not a profession, but we there are professions of host and hostess. For example, um, there are host or hostess for a TV show, okay? Let's say, um, uh, okay, like for example, here in El Salvador, there, there was uh, a while back, there was the game called Quien quiere ser millonario? Who was the host? Willy Maldonado. Right, exactly. Uh huh. Very good. Um, can you guys think of any other games? Or yeah, any? Do you guys? Can you think of any other games? Or or any other talk shows? For example, it's like uh, a person like. Oh. Sorry. So, so gigante, Daniel. Right, Sabado Gigante. Who is the host of Sabado Gigante? Don Francisco. Don Francisco, exactly. Yeah, right. So um, that is that in that case, it's a profession, right? But in this context, because we, we continue talking about restaurants. We're talking about a host or a hostess in a restaurant, which is a little bit different. It's actually what um, what uh, Ana Claudia was describing a few minutes ago. The host or the hostess is the first person that you see when you enter the restaurant, okay? So this is the very, very first person that greets you and say, hi, welcome, come on in, right? So that person is the person that is um, in charge of, um, of making you feel welcome, okay? And they might even be the ones that show you to your, to your seat, right? To your table and say, oh, you can sit here because they want to make you feel welcome. They may give you the menu, but they are not going to take your order. Exactly. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So they can say, oh, okay, they send you, they take you to your, to your table, they give you the menu and they say, okay, these are, this is the menu you can order from here. Somebody will come and take your order. So they will give you the menu, but they will not take your order. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Is the person like a tent and a person service, I think. Sorry, could you repeat that again? It's like a person that attend another or another's and offer some service. Mm. Assist, assist others, yes. Attend, no, because uh -huh. attend comes from attendant. Uh, assist. Yeah. Oh, okay, assist. yeah, assist. That uh, person is yes. the one you can uh, refer to in case you need any information or they also 
uh, advise you about some promos that they have in that specific day, or they are the one mostly assisting you in the celebrations in the parties and the piñatas. <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah. So the 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 um the role of the host or the hostess in a restaurant is to make you feel at home, to at make home. you feel good in that restaurant, to make you feel welcome. Okay, that's the role. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's continue. Um. Let's. See. Didn't die. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, let's continue. Okay, we're going to go for a short one. Sometimes these tend to be the most difficult ones because. S and Sam? S and Sam. Uh, yes. There is an S as in Sam. I guess. Just give me a moment. Okay. Okay, next. I guess it's one we saw on the platform. Very strange for me. Is if it's this one is K S and Kilo? K S and Kilo. Yes, there is a ah, okay. Kilo. <laughs> okay. Thing. Mm. But give me, don't give me the words, give me letters. Okay. I, I, the igloo. I is an igloo. Yes, there's an I is an igloo. Mm -hmm. M. L. There C. No. The look. No. Of N, look. N, N. N, N. The letter N. N is a L. look. L. L. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, N is a look. Como es eso? L of look. L as in look. Nice. Okay. N is in November. N. N as in look. L as in look. And the nose. No. Hold on. Hold on. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> the, the letter L for, of Lucas. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ay, no, ya me confundieron. <laughs> you guys, hold on, wait a second. Just to... Así es la huevo. Let's see. Let's see. No. Oh, God, wait. En ese en noviembre. Escucha, muchas letras me están diciendo al mismo tiempo. Just give me a moment. Letra L. Okay, now you can continue. Mm -hmm. M. M. M the November. M, M is in November. M is in November. Okay. M is in November. Yes, there is an N as in November. Yay. So what the word is? Sink. Sink. Right. What is sink? Where at the place that you wash dish uh, at the kitchen. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay, good. All right. Um, oops. Oh my. Just like just like I with the other one, um, it, sink can have many different uh, meanings, okay? And one of the meanings can be sink as in like, for example, a ship. A ship can sink. It means to go under the water. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like the Titanic. The Titanic uh, was a was a ship that went under the water, so it sank. Okay, that's 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 the verb that right? to to sink. Okay, so that's one meaning. But in the case of restaurants, that's not the meaning, right? Sink in this case is basically the place where you can wash your hands, or wash dishes, or um, or food as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we understand? Is the context only? It depends the context. Yeah, it depends on the context exactly. And if it's a verb, usually it will be you. It will be. Um, it goes with an agreement. Like for example, you would say the Titanic sunk, right? Because it's it's, a, it's in the past, right? Uh, so you want to say the Titanic sink, 
right? Because mm -hmm. it's not in the present, right? So, or so usually we can't we we have an agreement there with the verb and 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 the subject. But if we just say us think, then we know it's a noun, and in that case, it's like when you say in Spanish, what 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 do you call it? What is a sink in Spanish? En el lavatrastos, ¿no? Fregadero. O fregadero, ajá. Fregadero, fregadero, lavabo, ajá. Lavamanos. Lavamanos. Ah, es el lavamanos, no es el lavatrastos. Ah, pues ahí estaba confundido yo. Actually, well, um, actually in English, uh, we don't, we, we have, we can, um, the sink is usually for, um, I mean, you can have two types of sinks. We can have like a bathroom sink and a, um, and a kitchen sink. Most of the time, it will be when we say a sink, it refers to the kitchen. If we're talking about so if we're talking about a restaurant, right? But yes, we can also have a sink um, in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Um, just give me a moment. Just give me one moment because I think. I just have to check this out, okay? But I believe the one that um, the one in the bathroom has a specific name, um, and that's why. Just give me a second. Yes, I was right. The one in the bathroom has a specific name, and that's why it's normally, when we say sink, it normally means the one in the kitchen, because the one in the bathroom um, has a very specific name. It's a, it's a type of sink that we call it. Just give me a second. Let me type it over here. Okay. So we, we call it, uh, hold on. So we, uh, we call it a, bas uh, a basin, okay? Um, so the basin is usually a, a sink in the bathroom. Okay, okay. all right, but it, but we can call we co it is okay to say a sink <coughs> yeah for for the bathroom too it's okay it's not i mean people will understand you okay okay all right any other questions all right i'm gonna stop for a moment because i need to take attendance okay <laughs> Okay, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Javid? Present teacher. All right, Andres? Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Dennis Orlando? Um, Edgar Menjibar? Present teacher. Uh, Edith Jorleni? Urban? Present teacher. All right. <clears throat> Um, Fabiola, no, right? Um, Haiti? Present teacher. All right. Um, Irene? Irene, no? Okay. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right, uh, jury. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. No. Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. All right, Wendy. Present. Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. No, okay. Edgar Enriquez. Edgar Enriquez, no. Uh, Eli. Jose Montes. 
and Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, great. All right, let's continue. Oh, good. I thought I was going to erase it, but yay, we're okay. So, um, all right, next. Let's see. Um, give me a moment. I'm going to erase this. Okay. Um, Okay, so I'm going to add more more lines. This one's going to be a little bit longer. Um, Okay, ready. So this one's a lot longer. <laughs> uh. I'm ready when you guys are. Oh, as an Oscar? Oh, as an Oscar, let's see. Yes, there's definitely no as an Oscar. There's actually, well, there's a few, there's actually two. Ah, okay. Okay, next. Tea, tea de tomas or tomato? Tea as in tomato. Yep, there is. I guess Natalia and I, we know which word is right. <laughs> Me? I don't know. Uh, Why as in yes? Yeah. Why as in yes? Uh -huh. yeah. L as in lamb. L. L as in lamb. Lamb. H using hotel. H as in hotel. Yes. G teacher. Okay. The TG, the good game. <laughs> all, all right. Anything else? Or as a ring. Right. This one's the most difficult one, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it. You, right? You, yes. All right, now who, who can tell me how you pronounce it? Wrongly. Wrongly. 
wrongly. No. Probably. Mm, nope. And it's, any guesses anymore? Do you, do you give up? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Very close. Very close. You pronounce it oh. thoroughly. 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 Okay, hold on, wait, wait, okay. I, before you start pronouncing it, I want you to really listen to me, okay? I'm going to do it very slowly so you can get it. So, ro, li. 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 So, Thoroughly. There you go. Okay. Now, please be careful. This is not Turo. It's not Turo. It's Thorough. Okay. Thorough. Remember that the TH in English sounds very similar to the the Z in Spanish, right? Just like when you say Thorro or um, zapato or zorrillo, right? So that, that sound is, is the same as the, the TH in English. So it's thorough, th, th, thoroughly. Thoroughly. Okay, good. Now, who can tell me what that means? Now that we know the pronunciation, who, who, what is that? What does that mean? Hasta el fondo. Minuciosamente. It's like a dip. Mig migajas. In detail. Very in detail. good. In detail. Yeah, exactly. That's a very good definition in English. In detail. So when you are thorough, um, for example, I'm going to check. I, I'm going to check the email thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to check the email thoroughly. What it means is I'm going to check it very carefully in details. And, and it's in the word, the word thorough means in details, right? It's complete. And thoroughly is, is an adverb, which means uh, how you do an activity. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. How yes, would you say exactly. them in Spanish? Minuciosamente. Minuciosamente. Oh, detalladamente. Right. Minuciosamente, detalladamente. That works. Very good. All right. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Questions? Not yet, teacher. Okay, all right, we're going to race now. Okay, all right, the next word has the same amount of letters, so I'm not gonna erase anything. Go for it. O as an ostrich. O as an ostrich. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No. So we're going to have to put an O over here. Yeah. And an O over here as well. Okay, go for it. Next. There must be a name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there is an action A. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. Let me try to find it where, what position it's in. Okay, next letter. E as an echo. I. E as an echo. Yes, there is an E as an echo. Actually, there are two. N the nosy. N as a nosy. Uh, yes. yes, there is an N as nosy. Diaz and Delta. Diaz and Delta. Yes, there is one. Actually, there are two. Yeah, go for it. Next. S is in Sam. S is in Sam. Yes, there is an S is in Sam. I is in Indigo. Of course. A, the apples. I don't know. Yeah, so it's right now. A is an apple, it's already there. G, Guatemala. G as in Guatemala, of course. We can add that one. And now the most difficult one. G as in tango. All right. Yeah, that was, was difficult. <laughs> Very good. T as in tango, yes. So what, how do you pronounce this word? Designated. Right, very good, designated. Designated. Do not say design, designated. No, it's not designated, it's designated. Designated. With the T very strong. Yeah, designated. Okay. Yeah, very good, designated. Okay. Or you can also, it's also possible to pronounce it as a, like a D too, designated. That's also possible, designated. Okay, now tell me what does that mean? Any ideas? Is it now? Is it now? No. <laughs> I, I think to a specific. Uh -huh. Um, or assigned to a specific activity uh -huh. or something. Yes, yeah. Assignar. Yes, so designated means that yes, you have an assignment, right? You have been chosen for that assignment. That's what designated means. So somebody or something that has been chosen for a specific assignment. Okay, sounds good, everybody. Sure, an example, I designated of English. <laughs> I don't know. Como... <laughs> no, uh, maybe you Como... can say. Okay, I'll give you an example. Um, Como... No sé, como... 
sobreviviente, no sé, se podría tomar? No, no. Okay. Um, what, what it means, okay, to give an example, let's say you are working in groups, okay? I, I assign you in groups like I normally do, right? So I make you work in groups of three or four, let's say. And I then after I say, okay, you are going to report back to the class. You're going to choose one person to be the secretary. That person that you choose is the designated person. It means you chose that person for that specific assignment. Does that make sense for you, Warner? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, o sea, es como, um, and the example is the, um, the difference is uh, I survivor, I survivor, no, I designated survivor of English. Is it correct? No, okay, you're, you're confusing the, the, uh, the, the TV show, right? Because you're, you're thinking of the TV show, right, Warner? Oh, no. Okay, teacher. I, I asked her. Okay. Hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. Is this is this incorrect for me? Is uh, the um, the designated is uh, is in my in my case? Como como design como que me designen a mí algo, o sea, design. No, it means like elected. Let's say that it's let's say it's a, it's a synonym of elected. Um, that you're chosen. Um, el, el elegido. That's what it means. It's not designated means elegido. Okay. Teacher. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. The one. Uh, yeah, it's the one. Exactly. Uh, I'll give you another example. Um, it's very common to use the, use the, the phrase designated driver. The designated oh, yes. driver is the person, let's say that you go out with your friends, okay? Let's say you go out with your friends on a Friday night, okay? And you'll go out to a bar, okay? Now, what do people do at bars? They drink, right? They drink alcohol. Now, of course, you know, if there's lots of friends that are gonna be um, going for to the bar, uh, the question is, who is going to drive back home? If everybody's drinking alcohol and you know maybe they're gonna get drunk, who is going to be the one that drives the others home? Well, they usually have a designated driver, which is the person that has been chosen to not drink. And that way they, that person will be sober and they can drive the other friends back home and everybody will be safe. So does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. The other, the other example, teacher, um, designated area. Right. So, the designated area means an area that is chosen for a specific purpose. Okay, teacher. Thank exactly. You. Yeah. Good. All right. So, designated is clear for everybody. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right, let's do the last. Oh, actually, I have two more, but okay, go for it. Okay, so this is the next word, guys. Go for it. A is an apple. A is an apple. Unfortunately, that one failed. S the soap. Sorry, you said S is in soap? S the soup. S is in 
As in soup, okay. Hold on, just give me a second. I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm missing a letter. Just give me a second. Anything okay. November? Okay. Anything uh, November? Anything November. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Continue. E. E as an igloo. Yes or no? No, E. E as in elephant. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Come on, guys. Any letters? Yes, and David. Yes, and David. Very good. All right, Yes, and David. That one's a nine. And how about E? Mm -hmm. All right, we can do an E. Actually, we can do two E. Mm -hmm. All right. P. There are P. P as as P. Potato? Potato. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Letter P. Very good. And one more. Letter R. All right. Very good. All right. How do you pronounce this? Dispenser. 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 Good. And now tell me what it means. Dispensador. That's in Spanish. I want to know what it means. Provide, provide some seeds, uh, um, alcohol, for example. It's a, it's like a, a, a container or, or uh, a yeah. device that is a con little container. Right. Exactly. It's like a container um, that uh, that provides a certain um, utensil, right, or or a certain um, liquid that you need, right? Some sort of product. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. And now we're gonna do the last one. Okay, ready. Go for it. A. As an apple. Sorry, unfortunately, no. The letter D. Yes, there is a letter D. D, the tomato. Sorry, did you say T as in tomato? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, next. Letter R. R as in? Rose. Y el precio en algún momento. Very good. Yo te puedo decir 41, 42, 42. En algún momento lo que el precio va a hacer es hacer el retroceso para apoyar. All right, one more. Y tener el movimiento al sistema. Ahí es el índigo. Ahora. Ahí es el índigo. And you're absolutely right. Pues te lo voy a quitar porque en este momento sigue siendo el sistema. Es el que nos va a confirmar el cambio de. All right, how do you say that? Dirt. Dirt. Very good. It's pronounced dirt, not dirt, but dirt. Dirt. Very good. Dirt. Okay, so everybody pronounce it with me. Dirt. 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 Okay, what is dirt? Sucio. No. No, that's dirty. 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 I don't know. It's, it's uh, dust. It's when the sun superface is, uh, have a dust. Okay, it has two meanings. Um, dirt can be it can be some it can be something like um it, okay it can be like something that um like like uh, similar to dust right uh where you have like small little uh, particles but it can But it can also mean it can also mean, uh, for example, the soil. Ah. The soil. Um, do you guys understand soil? No. 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 Soil. The the piso. Yeah. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, so this is a tree, right? Now, this wow. tree. This tree grows in the wow. dirt. It grows in the dirt. This this is the this part here is the soil, okay, or the dirt. This part here is like uh, where all it's the ground where all the nutrients comes from. That's also dirt. So for example, when it's raining outside and you your your shoes come in contact. Uh. Your shoes come in contact with dirt and the water, it becomes very dirty, right? And it creates a mud. That uh, is dirt. Como lodo? Right. Lodo is, is mud. But to make mud, you need water and dirt. Okay. Okay? Como polvo. Yeah, exactly. Very uh, good. All right, we understand dirt? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay, great, perfect. All right, guys, so that is the vocabulary that we have. Any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, perfect, all right. In that case, guys, what we're gonna do is, um, since we, we understand the vocabulary now, let's look at um, the next, uh, well, the next slide in our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, can you guys see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so evaluating procedures here. We have our procedures posters display in some areas in your work. Oh, sorry guys, I was muted. All right, sorry. So let's talk about this question as a class. Are procedures posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Can you think of any places where they have put uh, posters in your work area? Yes, of course. Yes. 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 Where? Where have you no. seen them? In the stairs. In the Turn off the camera and cellular. Okay. And where do you see that? In the on bank, the entrance. It's, it's, it's common in the entrance. The branches. At the entrance and the doorway. Okay, where, where else? In the, do you see anything like in the lunchroom? Yes, mm -hmm. or in the trash. Right, for the disposing of the trash. Very good, excellent. Okay, now, now that we talked about this, what we're gonna do, it says, look at the checklist below, designated, remember this word? Designated to verify any steps of hand washing procedures. To verify the steps of hand washing procedures. Okay, do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the process? uh what the the sorry the procedure why or why not okay so let's take a look here at the checklist okay so i need a volunteer to help me read me teacher Okay, go for it. Uh, they read the policy. Oh, chef and server will follow proper hand washing produce, producer. Uh, Proce procedures. Proce procedures. Sorry, teacher. Procedures. Okay, don't worry. Uh, washing hand using soap. From soap or soup, soap, soap, dispenser, soap. soap. Okay, uses a brush to remove dirt from under finger nails. Um, washes hand and sink from produ production area. Um. Oh. Right, did you read this one? Yes, teacher. Oh, I okay. Dries hand with a me mechanical hot dry dryer. Okay, good. How do you pronounce this word? Mechanical? No, this one. Dries. Very good, dries. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Wonderful. All right, questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Um, 
mechanical for me to choose. Mechanical? Mechanical. Mechanical. Oh, the pronunciation is mechanical. So be careful with this because um, even though we have a CH there, but it's not pronounced ch. It's not ch, it's k. All right. So is the same as stomach. Stomach. Right. Exactly. Uh, exactly. It's the same as stomach. Okay, so right here, this this uh, we got to pay attention to the ch because it's not pronounced like we commonly pronounce it. It's pronounced like a k, so mechanical. All right. Any other words that you don't understand or vocabulary that you don't have know how to pronounce? Finger, finger nails. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, the yes, the, you understand the meaning, or it's a do you understand the meaning, or you're asking about the meaning? Um, the, the pronunciation teacher, finger, finger, okay. finger nine. Okay, uh, yeah, it's the pronunciation is finger nails. Uh, finger nails. Okay. Yes, finger nails it's like you're pronouncing like separate words even though it's one word finger nails finger nails so it's like that any other words that you don't know how to pronounce or uh you don't know what you don't know what they mean proper follow proper washing proceeds Proper, 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 fries like you know when you eat fries right fries okay and this is dispenser dispenser so i'll repeat we have proper proper what is the what is the mean on proper what is the meaning of proper? It, yeah. It's like correct. Okay, thanks. So another way we can say this is all chefs and servers will follow correct hand washing procedures. Okay, so I'll repeat. This is proper, 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 proper. Dispenser, dispenser, dispenser. Mm -hmm. fingernails, fingernails. 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 Dries. 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 Mechanical. 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 Okay. Any questions? Teacher. Yeah. Is the same say uh, fingernails and nails? Only that is the same. Nails and fingernails. What's the, um, what's the difference? It, nails are in general. Nails are, are um, uñas, but you can have fingernails and you can have toenails on your feet. Oh, okay. Right, so oh, nails okay. are in general, but you're being very specific, which are the, the fingernails. Okay. But do you okay. say uh, the toe, toe nails? Can you repeat that word? Toe? 
nails. On toe nails. I remember a son of my daughter, his shoulder finger, fingers, toes, something like that. <laughs> Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and yeah, toes. That's right. <laughs> Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears. Exactly. Toes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. but, they, but those are just toes, not toenails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any others? So it's okay? It's all clear? Yes. All right, so for this one, we have one question here. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Why or why not? What do you guys say? So if you use this to, to evaluate the procedure of hand washing would it be a good way to evaluate it yes because uh, in that case you make sure you don't forget uh, any step remember they are in contact at the restaurant with food and uh, so they need to make this process uh, thoroughly <laughs> Good, good, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yes, yes because the, the checklist provides a guide for the step to follow. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Excellent. Okay. So since you guys think this is a good way to evaluate, um a procedure what we're going to do is the following um just give me a moment we're going to be creating an evaluation checklist so first we're going to be working in pairs in your assigned breakout room use the evaluation checklist in the last slide as a model to create one of your own okay so that you're going to be and you're gonna evaluate a uh, process you follow at your workplace. Oops, sorry. And then at the end, you're gonna be sharing your checklist with the class. Although I believe this we're not gonna be able to do until tomorrow, but you will be able to at least uh, start with your checklist today, okay? So I'm gonna get you to work in pairs. You're going to create a checklist like the one that we saw as a model, okay? so. Just for you guys to remember, basically, you're going to be creating a checklist like this one. Okay? Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Any questions? A question. Okay. All right. So let's um, assign you guys into breakout rooms um, so that you guys, let me see. Uh, Warner, you just, you just have one, one camera, right? One, one device. Teacher, yeah? it's almost 10, it's almost 10 in PM. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm going <laughs> to get you to start. Uh, you, we're not finished, we're not gonna finish today, but we're gonna start, okay? okay. All right, Um. so, okay, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and join.
uh, take the temperature. Uh, in transit. Putting uh, yeah. alcohol help and clean your shoes. But so, on, okay. I'm sorry. Um, this is not the, the table. It's the other one. It's the other page. Where you were, or just the other one? Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, show show me show me what you were you were um, sharing. Ah uh, no, uh, no sé qué estaban compartiendo. <laughs> I ah. I talked about the the uh, create a checklist, but I I have a. Example for my work proceeds, but uh, is a short proceed. But I don't know they have in the workplace. I uh, have a different uh, way to make some proceeds. Oh. I am uh, having a uh, example, but I do not sure what they uh, yes. shared. Oh, teacher, is is in my uh, in my case uh, that was be inertia. I, I don't know. <laughs> The, the is this uh, part teacher yes that one okay, okay continue pretend i'm not here <laughs> okay juan francisco werner uh, have some procedures in, in your workplace mm. Mm, for example, uh, similar uh, you uh, um, exit one day. Oh, sorry. What? Or another procedure. Wash his hands and sink for production area um for for what kind of area jerry <laughs> production area yeah it's production production i'm sorry i forgot it's okay <laughs> it's okay all right so uh-huh remember it's da da uh, uh, production 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 yes i remember yes all time with claudia <laughs> Yes, exactly. Let me see. Wash hands and sink area. Well, we have three three steps that the regular we did that when I uh, when we are in the office. I think the, uh, the first one could be. Teacher is in the house. Hi. Almost leave the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost uh, leaving the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And be, but before I leave the house, let me take our attendance. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Have it. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Denis Orlando. I guess not. Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. All right, Eddie uh, Jorleni, I guess not. Irvin. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Fabiola, I guess not. Haiti. Present teacher. Excellent. Fabiola, I guess not. Hey, uh, oh, no, sorry. Uh, no, that was already the past. Irene. Irene? No, right? Ivan? Present teacher. Excellent. Josue. 
Present teacher. All right. Uh, Juan Francisco. Excellent teacher. Excellent jury. Present teacher. Excellent Luis. Present teacher. Very good. Manuel Alejandro, I guess not. Natalia. Present teacher. Excellent. Wendy. Present. Excellent. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Perfect. Yvonne. No, right? Okay, Yvonne, no. Uh, Edgar Enriquez. Eli. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. So that is going to be all for today. Um, we're going to be continuing this activity um, tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I've taken a, a, a picture of the groups so I can put you back in the groups tomorrow. And um, today I will stay with the one-on-one -on -one session with Warner. And um, don't forget that today I, everything has to be complete in the platform. And that will be all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good night, everybody. 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 Uh, okay, teacher. Um, okay. only one. No, I puedo ayudar. Eh, teacher, solo hacerle una pregunta. Solo, eh, la plataforma es para ahora, ahora, uh, en la medianoche, dijo. Sí, hoy por la medianoche. Porque tengo que, lo que pasa es que tengo que ingresar. No. Uh, tengo que ingresar las notas mañana a primera okay. hora. No, de hecho que ya la, yo creo que ya la terminé. Entonces, ah, perfecto. Ya la, no hay problema. Solo okay. quería saber. No sé si había entendido que era ayer y yo la terminé hoy. Así que estaba preocupado. Ah, no, no, no. O sea, en, eh, originalmente sí tendría que haber sido ayer. Ah, okay. Pero acuérdense. Por el... Por el día que tuvimos el desfase, ¿verdad? Entonces lo corremos uh, y sería hasta el día de hoy. Ok, sí, ya termina la plataforma, Ticho. Ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Qué otra pregunta tiene? Cualquier cosa, y no tiene que, o sea, no estamos necesariamente hablando de la plataforma o de este curso, sino que en, en inglés en general, cualquier cosa que usted quiera preguntarme. Uh, bueno, Ticho, la verdad, quizás no tengo muchas preguntas. Quizás lo... Eh, lo que a mí me ha costado ahora es como se ha estado practicando mucho el, las conversaciones eso creo que me ha lim, uh, estoy bastante limitado creo que con algunos lo hago bastante bien y con algunos otros <ríe> siento que no entiendo nada <ríe> no sé por qué <ríe> o sea, no sé si es por el acento o no lo logro entender o como a veces difícil y, y eso me cuesta mucho, o sea, como, porque hay unos que están igual que a mí, que no, no, no saben hablar mucho y creo que con, con esos tratamos y es más fácil, pero con, los, con algunos si no les entiendo nada, por ejemplo, um, al señor, no sé, el señor que vive aquí cerca de nosotros, que es vecino, <ríe> ¿cómo se llama? Eh, el señor Chelito. Cuando he tocado, no sé, el que vive aquí en la 29, también aquí por la pizza. Ah, por... que usted vive aquí cerca también. Sí, yo vivo aquí frente de la defensa de Don Juan Las Terrazas. No me diga. Sí. Ah, vaya, no sabía. <ríe> Eso es nuevo para mí. Ah, ah. Yo vivo entre el Don Pollo y la pizza. Hay, hay, hay un portón negro. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Sí. Exactamente. Sí. Ah, Oh, híjole, o sea, que literalmente solo sale de su casa y está la parada. Sí, sí ese es uno, y, o el ir al súper. Ajá, cabal. Bueno, de hecho, ajá, ir al súper, sí, ahí nomásito, qué chido. Sí, no, yo tengo que caminar un poquito. 
Es que yo tengo mi ventaja y desventaja, Ticho, porque sí. los domingos o sábados, no, Ticho. ¿Por qué? Imposible decir, me voy a levantar tarde. Ah, ya, ya entiendo, sí, sí, es cierto. Es cierto, sí, ajá, por, por todos los buses que pasan, ¿verdad? Y los micros. Ah, pues el señor, eh, con él he tocado varias veces, teacher, con el señor, y no le entiendo, teacher. no sé qué es. De hecho, que a veces hasta me decepciono. <risa> Digo, no sé, no, o sea, de hecho que me, las conversaciones me están costando mucho, pero no sé qué debo de hacer o qué me recomienda, digamos, qué ¿Qué es lo que debo enfocarme más a la hora de la conversación? Por ejemplo, o al, algo que yo pueda, alguna herramienta que me pueda dar para tratar de eh, entender. El, el, porque eso es lo que me cuesta más. En cierto, momen, en cierto momento, no sé, vengo, como digo yo, las luces vienen enfocadas, abiertas y entiendo todo. Y otros días que no entiendo, teacher, no. A veces lo que pasa es que también, o sea, eso, eso es cierto de que hay momentos en que, um, o sea, se nos hace más fácil las cosas porque eh, pues tal vez estemos, hemos descansado más ese día, ¿verdad? Eh, estamos como más con una mente más fresca, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces eso a veces contribuye, ¿verdad? De que, de que podamos como sentirlo más fácil. Ahora, eh, también el hecho de que uh, estar expuestos a diferentes tipos de, de acentos, de, uh -huh. uh, de, ¿cómo se llama? De rapidez, ¿verdad? Porque hay, hay personas que hablan muy rápido, otras que hablan muy lento, ¿verdad? Y así por el estilo, um, la diferente ritmo de entonación, todo eso varía. Y es por eso es importante estar en contacto con diferentes compañeros porque nos vamos acostumbrando, ¿verdad? Porque en la vida, en, en la vida diaria, así es la vida, ¿verdad? Un, usted no solamente va a hablar con un tipo de persona, sino que va a hablar con muchas diferentes personas. Entonces, eh, es importante que, que usted se va acostumbrando. Ahora, eh, algo que le pueda recomendar... Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué en sí es lo que usted siente que le cuesta eh, en el momento de hacer la conversación? ¿Es que usted no, no le entiende a la persona o es que usted siente que se traba usted mismo? ¿Qué, en los, ¿qué parte? En los verbos quizás podría ser lo más dificultoso es en qué momento, el, o sea, en qué momento... Bueno, ¿qué momento hablo del presente? No hay problema, sino a veces es cuando hay que pasar al, al pasado o, al, el, o hablar en futuro, que es lo más difícil. O sea, eh, como algunos verbos cambian, algunos otros no. Entonces, quizás ahí es como no logro colocar la palabra correcta o a veces me confundo mucho. Ok, entonces lo que le está costando es cambiar de un tiempo al otro. A un tiempo al otro, exacto. Ok, sí. va, entonces para eso entonces le sugiero que solamente se mantenga en uno o dos tiempos. No trate de manejar okay. los tres al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? No, no se esté pasando del pasado al presente, al futuro. O sea, trate de, de enfocarse. Pues, tener en siempre como el presente, como lo básico del presente simple, continuo o sea, man, tratar de mantener no siempre así claro. sino, o, tratar de mantener la conversación lo más práctico posible así sería. exacto, o sea el punto es de que lo que usted quiere es poder manejar bien los tiempos los entonces tiempos. la idea no es llevarlos toda una sola vez y de que vaya voy a, voy a poder hacer eso es como, es como por ejemplo hacer malabares o sea, cuando una persona empieza a aprender malabares, eh, empieza con, tres, con dos, ¿verdad? Dos pelotas, por ejemplo. Si lo puede hacer con dos, después le agrega una tercera. Si puede hacer con la, la tercera, le agrega un cuarto. Y, y así usted ve las, los profesionales que hasta cinco o seis eh, pelotas al mismo tiempo los están haciendo. Pero, porque, pero esas personas empezaron con dos o tres pero no empezaron con ese seis. Entonces, 
El punto es de que si usted quiere eh, hacer su esfuerzo en los diferentes tiempos, no puedes tomarlo de una sola vez. Ah, okay. Entonces, primero, agarre dos, bueno, agarre uno, se lo siente que lo agarró bien, entonces le agrega el otro y empieza a jugar con esos dos. Y cuando usted ya siente que maneja su dos, digamos que usted siente que, que, que usted maneja el presente y el pasado. Ahora vamos a hacer presente y futuro. Y después va, hagamos el, el futuro y el pasado. Y ahora hagamos los tres, ¿verdad? Entonces, trate, po, va poco a poco, ¿verdad? Y literalmente oblíguese a quedarse solo en esos tiempos. Porque van a haber momentos en que usted va a querer salirse de esos tiempos. ¿Verdad? Y lo cual no es algo malo, pero eh, como la, el objetivo es eh, enfocarnos en un tiempo y, y, y lo manejando bien, o sea, no queremos agregarle un, uno o otro tiempo si todavía no manejamos bien esos dos. En otras oh. palabras, ¿ok? Entonces diga, ahora, ¿cómo va usted a identificar cuál, cuál va a utilizar? Pues tiene que saber de qué está hablando. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo estoy hablando acerca de mi, mi rutina, si estoy hablando acerca de hechos que son comprobables, ¿Verdad? Si estoy hablando de mis de opiniones, entonces todos esos van a quedarse en el presente, ¿verdad? Esos routines, uh, opinions, facts, todos esos serían en el, en el presente. Uh. Si usted va a hablar acerca de algo que pasó ayer, ¿verdad? Lo que le pasó cuando estaba niño, entonces todo eso va a ser en el pasado. Entonces, lo, más, lo mejor, lo que yo les sugiero es que no, se mantengan no. esos dos, ¿verdad? Para empezar, el pasado y el presente. Yo digo que con esos dos y después usted va, cuando ya habla acerca de, de uh, planes a futuro o predicciones de lo que va a pasar a un futuro, entonces ya le va agregando es, ese elemento sí. al futuro. Oh, oh. Okay? ¿Ok? Entonces, tra no, no trate de hacerlos todos una sola vez porque se va a frustrar. Sí, ok. Este, otra cosa, teacher, eh, en la plataforma hay al, algunas cosas como para poder practicar ahí interno en la plataforma o no las hay. O, digamos, además, no, sí, del, para, además para. de los de las tareas y de los de los exámenes que hacemos ahí. ahí Solamente ahí. Los, los, uh, los discussion boards que hacemos nosotros, eh, en donde ah. pueden ustedes ir a um, agregando sus opiniones, ¿verdad? Y pueden ir contestándole a compañeros también, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Bueno. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Un gusto. Yes, un gusto teacher. Thank you. Y la verdad, no soy el... <risa> Creo que de todos soy el que voy más atrasadito, pero ahí me voy agarrando. Oh, no, <risa> no, no, créame, créame que quizás muchos piensen igual que usted, que quizás son los que más les cuesta. Todo, o sea, muchos piensan que ellos son los que más les cuesta y, y cada quien le va costando diferente. Pero lo más importante no es cómo nos vaya costando. Lo más importante es de que sigamos adelante constante, porque la constancia es lo que al final va a valer. No es cuánto a usted le cueste. Eh, ¿Se acuerda este, del meme que puse en, en el grupo? Sí, 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 sí. Eso es tan cierto. Si usted quiere hacerse experto, tiene que estar dispuesto a cometer errores y eh, varios, ¿verdad? Y, y, y usted va a darse cuenta que las personas que, que triunfan en su área lo, no fue algo que pasó así de inmediato, sino que fue algo que les costó al principio, se cayeron, volvieron a intentarlo, se volvieron a caer, volvieron a intentarlo hasta que por fin llegaron. Entonces, usted lo va a lograr, lo va a lograr. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Algo más? And it thanks you very much. You're welcome, Warner. It's always my pleasure. That's Take it. care. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Uh, good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.